Hey guys, what's going on? It's Eddie here at Sunbury Serpents. I hope everybody's well, staying safe, staying healthy. Uh, so today's video, I'm gonna be doing a relatively short video. I'm gonna try and keep my video short from now on because you know the overall kind of average engagement in YouTube videos is relatively short and I've kind of figured this out by looking at my YouTube channel. Um, anyway, this video today I'm gonna be doing on the reasons why I believe it is so important to feed your rodents a quality diet. Now on Facebook, on social media, I've seen a lot of negativity and I've seen a lot of comments um, about people who are feeding their rodents, or you know, somebody will say, post something and say, I'm feeding my rodents this, why are my babies being eaten? Why are the Maltese or the, the rats or the mice not looking as healthy as they possibly could? And I believe this is all down to diet. Quite clearly, you know, when you keep rodents, you have to keep them fed. You have fed well, you have to keep them clean, you have to give them fresh water as much as you give your snakes fresh water. And that's what I believe and that's what I do. And what I'll do is we're gonna go and have a look into the rodent room. And as you see, my, my rodent production is a lot smaller because I've got um, two freezers full of rodents. So I I don't need that many. I have a couple of picky feeders who I have to feed Maltese. Uh, some have to have fresh killed. So I uh, I have much much more reduced collection, but we'll go in there, have a look. And I'll just talk you through what I feed them um, and why I feed them, what I feed them and what I believe everybody who breeds rodents should do. Because, you know, your snakes eat these. You want your snakes to be healthy. You want your snakes to eat the best possible food. And when you do breed your own rodents, you have the ability to see what's going into them. You have the obviously you have the, the task of keeping them clean, keeping them healthy, making sure they have everything they need and nourishment, enrichment, that sort of thing. So anyway, guys, let's go next door to my rodent room, which is just behind that door there. And we'll go and have a look and uh, have a little discussion about the rodents. Here we are, guys. I'm just in the rodent room. Um, I have a very reduced collection of rodents at the moment. Um, I've been doing well with my frozen. But this little collection here, so I've got six tubs, six small tubs in here with small groups. And I've got two tubs down there. And as you can see, in the hoppers, we've got... A bit of broccoli. Uh, we've got dog biscuits, bird seed. <clears throat> I do have uh, layers pellets, but I haven't put any of those in today. And this is another thing. See, I get this two, probably two, maybe three times a week. My wife goes into the fridge. She has a bit of a clear out. And every now and then you find half a bag of salad that we haven't eaten. Uh, and she doesn't like eating old salad, so she gives it to me. And this is one of the things that I would highly recommend you do for your rodents, mice, rats, Maltese gerbils, hamsters, whatever you breed for your snakes. Um, they love it, they thrive on it. They go absolutely bonkers for a bit of salad. Um, and yeah, you know, I feed it through, They put, I feed it through the gaps, they pull it through, they enjoy it. They take a little piece away for each of them. I mean, see this little dude here, absolutely mullering this head of broccoli. So, you know, I know they love it. It's vitamins, it's minerals, it's good for them. And I really, you know, I can't reiterate enough you should give your rodents good quality food as often as you possibly can because all it's going to do for them is it's going to help them grow and it's going to help you get big litters like this because you're going to have healthy mums who are ready to breed they're going to lay litters i've got another big litter in there um let's have a look i've got up here and i said i've thinking of hidden them all i did have a couple of litters which still there there's one in there a small litter in there uh where are they all ah can't see these guys because they're under the water bowl let me move that a massive litter in there but once again guys diet good diet good diet good diet and your rodents will thrive you get tons of babies and i know i've done you know i've done these videos before on rodents but i just thought i've seen a lot of stuff online and i just needed you know needed to show you guys how i do it once more and especially at this time of year we grow a lot of salad grow a lot of veg in our garden and anything that's not used, I give to my rodents because I love I love the fact that I can give them a good diet, a nice, very balanced diet. And it just, you know, it's good for them. And they look happy. So this is how I leave the multi room or the rodent room. All of them, fresh water. This is like this is cleaning day today. So fresh water, fresh food, nice, fresh veg for them to have a little chow on. And then tomorrow or Tuesday, I will give them um, pasta. So I'll, I'll give half dry, half cooked. 
and yeah they absolutely love it so there you go guys just a relatively short video just showing you the rodents the setup i have um obviously you see i have a small number of rodents now it's kind of nice for me i've got a lot of hatchlings um and I'm breeding a small number of rodents because I need the multi babies because that's what I give my all my hatchlings. The first meal they have is a multi pup. Then I move them to mice, then I move them to rats, or if they're really awkward feeders, I'll keep them on multi. But that's that. And you know, you've seen how I feed them, uh, what I give them. And I would highly recommend, as I said, I would highly recommend you give you think about this. Don't just give them so rolls, because so rolls suck. You know, there's no point giving your rodents shite food because they're not going to be healthy, they're not going to have good fat content, and they're not going to be good for your snakes. So think about this, guys, seriously. Um, anyway, if you like this content, if you like this video, this kind of thing, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell, then you'll see when my next video comes up. But until then, guys, stay safe, stay well, peace and love, and I'll see you guys soon.